Welcome all you absolute legends to what is now the 21st video in the series. We're finally legal to gamble now. Time to lose, I mean win it. The gun in question is the AS Val from Modern Warfare. Built with an integrated suppressor, it has a very fast time to kill up close. But past 20 meters or so, the recoil gets a bit weird and low bullet velocity makes it quite difficult to use effectively. Here's a class, and of course the perks are Cold-Blooded, High Alert, and Combat Scout, paired with the Trusty Deagle. Let's kick it off. Fresh out of the plane, with the circle on the lower left hand of the map, I land at the warehouse alone, free to loot safely before moving across the road, and being surprised by the sound of footsteps on my right. A quick reaction, and the poor soul gets deleted at a moment's notice. I move to the south to Boneyard so I can buy a UAV since there is shooting happening and I want in. As I activate my UAV, not only is a player ahead of me, but also one is on my left. A few quick shots out, and a follow up flashbang, and I look to push across the road and secure the kill before the player on the right has any time to react. He has a much different idea though, and lays into me, forcing me to retreat inside the building and to re-armor up. As I move inside the garage, I wait to see what both players do. Player 1 moves to the back of the building and to the dirt piles rather than busting through the window like I hoped, and player 2 moves out wide on my right hand side, ultimately moving to the corner of the building. With them both engaged in a fight, I take the opportunity to use dead silence and move to the left, making a dramatic entrance with some C4. As I round the dirt, I see player 1 is dead on the ground so I put full focus on the player 2. The p is out of ammo so I swap to the C58 and I put him down very quickly. But I see the car behind me turn red, and while I think for a split second about going towards it, I turn tail and make my way to the corner with some hard cover. Unfortunately, the only thing he's following is the way to the gulag. With all the money I've accumulated, I head back to the buy station for my loadout. After that, I loot some more buildings and gain a self revive, refresh my cash supply, and return to the buy station for a UAV for information on the area. Three dots show up, one in storage, one in Boneyard, and the last is on the other side of the road. As I push up for the first player who's sniping at the player across the road, he unexpectedly turns towards me, which I know from the scope glint. So I move to the right to break line of sight, not right now Powerfish, and move to the rocks for cover. I take a quick risk and it pays off, much to his disgust. Stopping at the buy station for a pie and a drink, oh and a precision airstrike too, I go back to looking for the player on the other side of the road, taking quick note to mark the shooting behind me for later. As I near closer, my target jumps onto a bike and takes off. A few shots to rattle him up, and he dismounts behind the car. A quick Molotov to try flush him out of cover, but he eventually peeks wide and I take him down before turning my attention back to the shooting that I marked before. As I move to the location that I marked, I end up hearing his footsteps from quite a way away. So I wait, I pre-aim it, and eventually he walks into it. While the initial burst doesn't kill him, the quick move to the left does. To keep the momentum going, I grab a nearby supply run, grab a Bertha, miss a precision airstrike on a moving vehicle, and I drive the Bertha out to the south to finish the contract, purchasing a UAV and another precision airstrike to fill the hole that the previous failed attempt left. Seeing multiple dots in the promenade, kill thirsty, I look to add them to my counter. Sadly, it's not the case, as I end up in an unwinnable fight against a sniper in the firehouse. While he's not the most technically proficient player, he is very stubborn and he doesn't want to come out. When another player pushes me, I decide it's time to bail before the situation takes a turn for the worst. Remembering a dot on the UAV at the bottom of the map earlier, I jump back in the truck and I look to start clearing out houses. As I pull up, another car comes flying in. I figure it's my hunter, but it turns out I'm wrong just a fly wandering into the wrong web. Rather than pushing inside the house, I listen for footsteps and wait on an angle to catch him off guard. It works. As I run to loot his corpse, the hunted bar turns red, so I head upstairs to try forcing the fight on my terms. Unable to catch a glimpse of him through the window, I hear him underneath me, so I take the gas grenade on the ground, throw it as he begins to start firing, and it renders him unable to fight back. Combat Scout allows me to follow him through the wall, and I put him on the ground, I waste no time to finish him off. With money in my pocket, it's time to get back in the truck and hit up the buy station once again for another UAV. This time, two pings, one in promenade, the other in the house I just left. So it's back in the truck to go chase this guy down. 
I make a few circles around the house and eventually park up on an angle that allows me to look inside the building and he walks right into my line of sight. Again, back to the buy station to keep my supplier in business. Again, finding the same player in Promenade, but this time finding a player to the west who's been pushed in by the gas. I have not only the high ground, but the gas is actively pushing him, so I just need to wait until he's out of position. Not long after, it happens. I kill him, and I turn my attention to the next zone, sweeping along the edge to make sure that no players are hiding in the rocks. And when I'm confident that I'm not going to get shot in the back, I park up my Bertha, which is at quite low health now, and I pay attention to the map. I see a car pull up at the buildings on the other side of the road, and some shooting on the very edge of Promenade, so I know where at least three players are. Despite not seeing any scope glint, I end up getting shot from the player who was driving the car. So I retreat in the cover to armor up again, before going back and bobbing my head up and down to make sure that he doesn't push across the road and catch me off guard. I decide to use my precision airstrike to either A, destroy his vehicle so he's forced on foot, or B, try and kill him. Unfortunately, I do not succeed in killing him, but I do take his vehicle out. With the gas now pushing me, I don't have much time to waste, so I make a rotation out on the far left hand side using the trees to break line of sight with this player, as well as trying to catch anyone else who's getting pushed in by the gas. As I make my move, I spot another player ahead of me. I ping him to follow him, and knowing the limitation of my gun, I seek to move up closer rather than firing a few shots and wasting an opportunity. I scope on him to see which way he's looking, and he's not paying any attention to my direction at all. So, I move up close, and I unleash a flurry of bullets and he goes down without a hitch. Now we're down to three enemies left, one on the Bertha, one definitely on the other side, one unaccounted for. With the next zone being extremely open, I'm worried about the truck. If you don't know, you can shoot and explode both munitions and armor boxes, so I place it down along the edge of the zone, waiting for the Bertha. One player goes down, two left. I know where both are. As Mr. Bertha makes another pass, I end up seeing movement on the other side. Gotcha. Unfortunately, Mr. Bertha never drives quite close enough to my trap, so I wait to see what his move is. Luckily for me, it's the drive towards the other player, so I lay some bullets into him to weaken him up, and the last two players end up engaging in a fight. While well, I sit back here and I show how useless the AS Val is at longer ranges. With no options for cover, I cut to the left and look to see where the next zone goes. It makes a huge swing to the right, so I start laying bullets into the Bertha because I need him gone. And I very quickly see that he has retreated into cover. So, as a safer option, I move into the gas to give myself slightly more cover and to use this to break line of sight. Once I'm within range, I throw a stun grenade to hold him in place before following it up with a quick burst. He goes prone, and rather than wait, I use Dead Silence to push up, again using his cover to break line of sight. When he lets out a burst to where he thinks I am, I surprise him and take him down without a chance to fight back. ASVAL completed. Thanks for watching, I hope you all enjoyed. Just a matter of subscribers off that 100 mark, so hey, if you enjoyed and want to see more in future, the subscribe button is waiting for your input. Other than that, leave a like if you enjoyed it, comment your favourite parts, and let me know what you want to see more of in future. Take care guys, I'll see you in the next one.